Hi guys, it's Frosty here. Welcome back to my Final Cut Pro X tips and tricks. So basically last week we went through how to make multicam syncing more efficient. Um, and I said it gets it right most of the time, but it doesn't always get it correct. Sometimes you might have one or two tracks out of place or one whole uh, timeline will be out of place as well. There's quite an easy way to get it back on sync um, without having to do it manually. And this is something that a lot of people ask me as well. So what you need to do is you need to see the clip that's out of sync. So this clip here we've got is actually out of sync. Now, I could go through and manually sync that and listen to all the audio and work out what's going wrong, but we shouldn't have to do that in this day and age. It should just work it out for itself. So what we've got to make sure that we do is we've got the clip selected that we need to resync, which we've done. Now then what we need to go is select the timeline that we want to be our primary uh, clip to sync it up with, so which is my audio here. Now to get that to be a primary timeline you just need to select a little TV here which I've already done. And then that will allow that to be the primary timeline. Now that we've done that, we just go up to the track where the clip that's out of sync is and we click the little arrow here. Now what we want to do is I just want to sync that one clip. So I just click on sync selection to monitoring angle. It'll go through, do another quick sync again. And as you see, it's dragged it back in time uh, to where it should be. Now, if the whole track was out of place, you can just do the same thing, but go, don't have to select anything, just go sync to monitoring angle, and then it will sync, sync the whole track. So yeah, that's just basically a quick tip that will help you correct up any little mistakes that Final Cut Pro X has made. Thanks guys, and hopefully we'll see you back next week.